So I'm thrilled to chat, chat with you. Um, for those that aren't familiar with your type of music, uh, mm -hmm. how would you describe it in like a, a sentence? In a sentence, I say soul, jazz, definitely. Mm -hmm. I've always been described as a soulful singer with jazz influences. Actually, can you kind of give us a sample? <laughs> uh, sure. Is that okay? um, something right now, everybody or knows, sure. or uh, I don't know, maybe, or maybe an original. Original. Just a little bit, if you're allowed. Sure, of course I am. Um, I'm going to sing one of my favorite jazz standards. Okay. If that's okay, summertime. Sure. Everybody knows that one. <laughs> summertime, and the living is easy. Fish are jumping, and the cotton is high. Your daddy's rich, and your ma is good looking. So hush, little baby, don't you cry. Amazing. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Sorry to throw you No, into that's all right. That. I mean, I love to sing. But I hear that you would do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Wayne was actually playing along. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, so how did you get started in the music business? In the music business, in music in general, I got started very young. Okay. Um, I come from a very artistic musical family. Amazing. I grew up with music around. I always tell this story that I had, um, instead of an entertainment system growing up, we had a wall full of records, milk crates wow. filled with records, and the TV in the middle. And I oh. went to sleep with record, rec records and music playing and woke up that way. Um, and then somewhere along the line, my parents saw something and sent me to performing arts school. Right. I started into the music business when I was 18, is when I got my yeah. first paid gig, I guess. Cool. Um, doing uh, private events and uh, church events. Uh, then I got into background singing, community, uh, community programs, different things like that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And your background uh, vocalist for like Socrates and... I did, um, well I was singing background for Lori Newick. Okay. Um, and we, she won Honey Jam. Oh yeah, yeah. So we did a so we did a recording session with Socrates. Oh, yeah, I which see. was great. I had a lot of fun. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember what kind of record uh, growing up was the one that you that you had to listen to like once a week or like something that that kind of um, uh, inspired you that day? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, there's yeah, that yeah. go-to record. Is yeah, the one? yeah. The ones that I remember growing up are Randy Crawford and the Crusaders. Okay. Um, that's something that my dad listened to a lot. Yeah. One of my dad's best friends would listen to a lot. Oh, so that's nice. something that resonates with me a lot. Um, but when I start to find my own, I would say I would always listen to a lot of Luther, Luther Vandross. Yes. Um, Boys to Men. Yes. Desiree. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Have you gotten to see any of those guys live? No. <laughs> Maybe no. You know what? Just throwing it out to the universe, you're probably going to open for them. You're, you're okay. probably going to open for you. Okay, okay? I, accept that, I accept that. I actually have met Boys to Men. Amazing. Um, but I haven't had a chance to see them perform. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. That's actually really cool. You got to be in the same space as them. Yeah. Too, right? Yeah. Um, so you travel a lot performing. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about that. Most of my traveling has been with uh, cruise ships. Cool. I've also done some traveling independently um, with my solo music right. and with other artists, people that I've um, sung background with wow. or for. Um, but with cruise lines as a headline entertainer, as cool. well as um, a lead singer in their production shows, which has been great. I've yeah. been to almost 60 countries around wow. the world, almost every continent except for South America. Uh, so that's on my bucket list yeah. right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's been incredible. Amazing. And how long have you been doing that for? I've been traveling. We were just talking about that. And I was trying to do the math. I've been traveling on and off with cruise ships for about 10 years. Wow. I've been traveling as a professional singer for almost 15 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, is there a place that you would just love to go back and perform that like, you could name off? Right at the top of your Barcelona. Head. Oh yeah. Oh, it's one of wow. my favorite cities in the entire world. Cool. The culture, the food, um, the energy, the history. Right. Awesome. What what inspires you in your um, day to day? Either um, singing covers or even uh, your original stuff. Well, I found out a long time ago that for me, um, I need to connect to music mm -hmm. on some organic level, whether it be personal message right. or uh, the actual instrumentation, the music, the feel of it. Okay. Um, so I connect to you know some of the some of the same artists I mentioned before, plus people like Do Donny Hathaway and some of those jazz classics. Yeah. Um, but what really helps me or inspires me is just life experiences. Right. 
So, you know, struggle, heartache, heartbreak, mm -hmm. all of those typical things yeah, <laughs> that singer-songwriters oh, sing and sure. talk about. Um, I, I um, experience this in my songwriting. I find that it's easier to write about all the, the darkness. Yeah. Do you find that too? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And but I mean, I think part of that is because it's something we all relate to. Right. And it's therapeutic. The one thing I say about sure, music yeah. and the arts in general, it's selfish and selfless mm -hmm. because it's selfish because we would do it anyway and we'd love to do right. it. And if we can make a living, that's incredible. But it's selfless because it means so much more when you can share it and because people can um, grow and heal and be helped by what we create. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That should be in, like a definition of the whole music industry, yeah. like what you just said. <laughs> that's awesome. That's exactly how I feel too.